Okay guys, I'm going to do a quick screencast and review this trade that I made on uh, US Airways. Um, I, I made a video originally about it, kind of with my analysis on it, the day before uh, this all happened. It was actually this day, October 11th of this year, and um, I'm just going to show you. It basically had a, it had a nice chart set up, um, and I'm going to show you why I chose 9 as my buying level. Because um, a lot of people were like, man, you pretty much picked the exact bottom of that. And I'm going to show you kind of based on my last video about reading the tape and stuff and just kind of finding things that you see in the level two quotes, how you can implement that into your trading and get, you know, much better entries on it. So um, this, this software is a little slow whenever I'm running this replay feature. So just kind of bear with me here. I don't, I don't really have that much time on these videos, so I'm going to go as fast as possible. But I'm going to fast forward here. This is basically around an hour before the close. And this 9 level was the previous day's lows that, that I was looking at. And um, I'll, I'll show you the big chart after this is all done, but I want to show you kind of the intraday action here. And pretty much, um, I mean... Pretty much I was watching this 9 level just because it didn't seem like it was going to drop through it. Um, if it did, I wasn't going to get short because I did think that this company as a whole um, had some potential to the upside. All the airlines were doing really well. This one was outperforming a lot of them. You can see all that reasoning in my video analysis here but um, in a, on another link. But um, I'm going to show you, I'm trying to fast forward to these times here. And um, basically, you can do this. I, I would highly recommend doing this on stocks that are at important levels, like I said in my last video, um, and just kind of look at what was going on intraday. Pretty much, I saw some large bids holding it up there at nine, and normally that would indicate you might want to short below that level, but I'll show you. I mean, basically right now you can see it's still holding that 9 level. Well, look what the market's doing right now. It's just dumping. This is the SPY right here. This is the E-mini futures right here. It's just total crapping. You know, it's just going to shit. Um, and this U.S. Airways is holding up. You know, that's some good relative strength there. You know, I, I like that. So this is another reason why I was looking at this long. Um, I, it's actually funny because a friend of mine actually went short this the next day and he got burned and I'll, I'll show you real quick let me pause this video and pull it up okay so here we are into the next day of trading and everything I'm doing right now is fast forwarded three times so you can imagine how slow this probably was during the actual day I and mean, the markets open right now it's 8 30 and it's barely had any trades so um, pretty much it starts out you know the market itself is kinda hanging in there it's 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 dropping off a little bit um, and then basically it just takes a big dump and you can see there there's the five minute right there the whole market is just crapping and once again you look at this LCC five minute chart and it's holding up alright and this is I mean there's a good sign of relative strength here now, if you'll notice, that bid yesterday that was holding it up at 9 is gone. So this just dropped below that 9 level. Now, this is probably whenever my friend entered short. And that's honestly a good entry. I mean, that, that works, you know. But I'll show you over the next couple minutes, um, pretty much, look at that. I mean, this is going at 3 times speed. But um, now, all of a sudden, that dark red candle is about to turn green. And... Let me pause this and show you what happened throughout the rest of the day. Okay, so I bought it back whenever it broke above that 9 level again. And you can just see what happened the rest of the day. Alright? Um, now, I mean, to me, that was, that's, that's just how it works, you know? They shook out the, sh the longs early in the morning, and they, they trapped the shorts. And I'll show you the daily to show you what happened in the long term. Because that's a quick 50 cents, but... When we look at it in the long run, that was this day right here that it broke out and it just continued higher. Um, that's all I got for now. Check it out on your charts and see how you can implement that replay feature again into what you do and how you trade. Take care.